The term carcinoma or cancer was first used to describe tumors back in 400 BC, and yet today cancer is still a death sentence for the majority of the patients who are diagnosed with it. The main challenge in the fight against cancer is the inevitability of cancers coming back as new tumors, even if, uh, the, if, even if some of the treatments seem to work initially. One of the ways that scientists have tried to approach this problem is by cutting off the blood supply of tumors in the hopes that they can deprive them of nutrient and oxygen. This strategy, instead of killing off the tumors, made them more aggressive. They started to spread across the patient's bodies and make new tumors. So we asked a simple question, why does cutting off the blood supply of tumors make them or enhance their ability to form new tumors? We looked into liver cancer patients, and we found a molecular switch called Efrin A3 that is activated when there is lack of oxygen. And if we inactivate the switch, the cancer cells lose their ability to form new tumors by almost two-thirds. So we were not at all surprised to find out that patients with this switch inactivated live years longer compared to those who have it activated. And compared to this time frame, the current standard therapy for liver cancer provides patients with only two to three months of overall survival benefit. So clearly, this switch is important. So we next wanted to know, what is this switch for? What does it do in the cancer cells? So we profiled all the changes that happens when we manipulate this switch. And what we found is very revealing. If we activate the switch, the cancer cells start to gather energy, condense it, and store it within themselves as fat. So this is very critical, we think, because this is a commonly used strategy by nature whenever there is a need for a fresh start. For example, the seeds in an apple, the yolk of an egg, and also from our findings, the oxygen-deprived cancer cells within a tumor. They all pack enough energy and resources to jumpstart their new beginnings. The irony is nature is using the same strategy to give new life in the case of the fruit and the egg, but is also using the same strategy to take away life of cancer patients. We hope that this realization will lead to new kinds of therapies that will stop cancer from being a death sentence. Thank you.